know God is faithful. And every time that we think in His Word here in Spain, we see that faithfulness. I want to praise the Lord for another month of service, reaching souls and bringing the Gospel to many people that have never heard before. This month started with the joy of reaching an area called Moyanes, one hour from where we are. Our co-worker Kevin Kenny works in that area trying to establish a church in a place where thousands of people live and yet there are not many churches. Our young people went there and we were able to give tracts in many different homes, reaching door by door and uh, giving also tracts to the people that we saw in the streets. Around three towns were covered with several hundred pamphlets. We pray that the Lord will reach those homes with the gospel. Every Saturday, our young people gather together in our church to learn about the Word of God, to pray together, to serve the Lord, and also to have a special time as a young people. We have been very encouraged to see many of them taking leadership and helping us uh, working with children or in the camp ministry. Now, some of them, the older one, they have asked us to do something special. To establish another group from younger adult people, let's put it this way, uh, people from around 20 years old upwards, with a desire of learning and having special studies for that time, talking about marriage and family relationships. So we're establishing a new group of young people. We pray that the Lord will bless them about it. We were very encouraged last week to see a group of sisters that gather in our church to have a meeting called Dios Puede, God is Able. They gather together to pray and intercede for their own children, some of them that are not working with the Lord. And uh, it was an encouragement. The 23rd of April is an important day here in Catalonia. It's called the Day of the Book and the Day of the Rose. Now, it's a time where many people will buy a book and give that book to a special one or maybe a rose and, and do the same. Now, we know that the Bible is the book that changes lives. So every year we have put a little table in the streets of Castel Bisbal and invite people to the church. This year we were able to talk with a lot of people. We gave away 30 New Testaments and also several Bibles. Hundreds of tracts were uh, given among the walkers, the people that, that was working around or just visiting or, or came to our table to see the books. And it was an encouragement to us to see how the Lord was working through the hearts of many people that saw us there. The Lord answered prayer. We know that. This month we dedicate many days to try to finalize the restrooms and the kitchen and the general work that we did in our building. We saw how the Lord provided the money to buy the materials and also 
the helpers to help us to build. We had a special meeting with the mayor of the city. The Lord brought to our church uh, a man that is in politics also. He's a politician. Uh, but he is a believer. He, he realized it, that the city hall was helping the Catholic Church with several thousand dollars every month. He asked why they did, were not doing the same with us, with the Protestant Church, as they call it. Well, he tried to explain that according to the law, we have the same rights, the same responsibilities. So he decided to try to do something for us. Now I explained to him that I believe in separation between church and state, and for that reason I never ask anything to the government here in Barcelona or here in Castel Bisbal. Yet he wanted to do something special. So we were able to have a special meeting with the mayor of the town. And basically, we tell them that there is another church here in town. Actually, I believe we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We explain them how our position was based in the Bible. And that we were here with only one purpose. And was to share the gospel with the people of Castellis Valley and with the 13 or 14 towns around this area. The Lord really was working in that meeting. And we pray that every word that we say and the things that we explain to the politicians that were there will, will be useful for them to understand that yes, there is another church in town. Continue praying for us. As we are serving the Lord in Castel Bisbal, we realize that we need your help, your prayers. We cannot do it by ourselves. You're part of our team. And I hope that this small uh, video report and the picture that you have been able to see will give you an idea of what we are doing for the Lord and why we are doing it. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you today.